If you guys are looking to buy Ultimate Team Coins, check out the link in the description below the video. What is up guys, welcome back to another player review. Today, we're going to be looking at the newly released Yilmaz. He is from Turkey, he plays for Galatasaray. He's going for about 80k, I believe, at the moment. That's what I bought him for. Anyway, we're going to show you really quick his in-game stats. The in-game stats are unbelievable. Look at all those greens, light greens, dark greens. He's overall very, very balanced on his stats. And, I mean, he does have 3-star weak foot and 3-star skills, which is definitely a letdown. But, as you saw from his stats, he's got some crazy stats. But, let's talk about how he plays. Now, his card says he has 82 pace. That is an absolute lie. He is slow. He is one of the, like, in terms of speed to what it says on the card, he's one of the slowest players I've used. He really, really does not feel very, feel like 82 pace. Maybe 75, but maybe closer to 70, in my opinion. Now, his shot, his shot is very good. I, that's... He's got a good shot power, I believe it's about 91, so he just smashes it into the back of the net, or smashes it and challenges the goalkeeper, and he gets it on target most times, so he's very, he's got very good shooting. He's also got very, very good passing for a striker, you know, he get, I played him with Di Natale, I played him up top with Di Natale in a 4-4-2, and he was able to pick out Di Natale very, very well, he can get the pass right on target when you need it, he was very, very good at finding an open pass for Di Natale. Now, we're going to be talking about his dribbling here. His dribbling is atrocious. It is so bad. He has his touch is very very bad. His he only has three star skill moves. So, if you're trying to if you're looking for a striker who can control the ball very well, I would not pick Yilmaz. But the thing about Yilmaz is he has 96 strength. 96 strength. That is unbelievable for a striker. That is up there with Akinfenwa. He just holds off every defender, except maybe Kilini Nagbana. He can hold off any defender while he makes his runs up and down the field, or up and down the pitch. He's just so, so strong. But as we're just going to review right here, he's got good shot, good strength, good passing, and he's got, actually, he's got pretty good heading as well, but he's very slow. He's got terrible dribbling, three-star skill moves, and three-star weak foot. Not, not very, very good. He's got, he's got a lot of cons. So because of that, I'm gonna be giving him a 6.5 out of 10. I would not recommend buying him for 80k. I would wait till he probably drops to around 40 to 50k. I don't even, I don't. He might even drop lower than that. I'm not guaranteeing any kind of prices because I know somebody's gonna comment three months in the future and be like, oh, why didn't you tell me it was gonna be 80k again, or why didn't you tell me he was gonna be 20k? But anyway. This is kind of a short review, just wanted to get this out to you guys, get you my opinion on Yilmaz. I'm going to try and do another player review, or at least maybe another one, maybe two of this week's Team of the Week, as I said, a very, very good Team of the Week. Maybe try and get my hands on an Inform Hazard, I don't know. Anyway, it's going to be the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you left a like, and I will see you guys next time.